it going Mopar fam? Oh, everybody out there is having a fantastic time. So today we're going to be doing a video and an install on my big truck. As some of you guys know, this is a 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 with the Cummins six speed manual. And this is a two wheel drive truck. And this truck did not come with the factory overhead cab lights. So I am kind of a fan of having cab lights, especially on a diesel. Not that necessarily need them. I just like the way they look, as do most people. So today we're going to be installing some on this truck. And again, it did not have any from the factory. What we're going to be installing is these guys right here. This is a kit. It comes with five of these LED amber overhead cab lights. Each light has a large chipset in there, and these are very bright. This is the amber color, and these are the clear lenses that are slightly smoked just a tad. So that is what we're going to be installing on the top of my cab on this truck. <clears throat> these are very inexpensive. This kit was like 38 bucks. Uh, I believe it was under $40 on Amazon. The link will be in the description of this video if you're interested, but a very cheap kit. There was a bunch of reviews on them. Uh, a lot of the reviews was very good. There was a few reviews that um, some people had some issues with them, but I figured we'd take a chance as a majority of the people looked like they had good luck and it's not a lot of money anyways. The hardest part about this operation is going to be the fact that this truck does not have holes and the wiring in the cab for these in the first place. So in the future, if we did have an issue with these, once we do all the hard work, the drilling and everything, it would not be a big deal to change them out in the future if need be, but I think we're gonna have good luck with these. Now, I will say I have not installed cab lights on uh, this particular truck before or honestly any other truck. So this will be a learning experience for myself, but pretty straightforward. We're gonna have to lower the headliner. We're gonna have to be removing the uh, grab handles and the corners up here on the passenger and driver side. And we'll be having, we'll be having to remove the uh, visors up top. And as long as we can get the front of the headliner to drop down enough, then we can do our necessary wire routing and so forth. So I don't know if we'll have to remove this entire thing out of the truck. We're gonna see what we can do, but it looks like a, a lot of people have had pretty good luck with just lowering it down some. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. We're gonna dive into this thing and see which direction we have to go. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the camera over here and I'm gonna show you the whole kit and I'm gonna show you what all it comes with, the hardware, the wiring, and the lights, so forth. So hang on one sec. All right, so this is the box that the kit comes in from Parts AM. And I already have one light removed already, but inside the box, you're gonna get a pack, what they call the wiring harness kit. It's gonna have the wiring harness, some hardware, wiring, connectors, so forth. And there's also a switch in here as well if you need to use a switch. Um, my plans is going to be to use a factory headlight switch. So you have another light, another light. That is four lights right there. And then the last light. So it comes with five lights pretty standard for any kit out there and then the only other thing in the box is mounting screws and gaskets for the lights now each one of these does already come with a gasket on it but we will be using silicone as well I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet I'm a big fan of ultra gray on anything myself but I went ahead and I got some clear silicone as well. Uh, we may use the clear stuff. Not really a big, big deal. Anything will work. 
um, pretty much just your preference but we may go with this but anyway you're gonna want to put something around this gasket material just as precaution because you don't want any water or leaks to get through and ruin your headliner um, so I would not trust the gasket just by itself definitely back it up with some silicone other than that this is my truck as you see absolutely nothing up top at all so this is going to be completely bare bone install on a truck that never had cab lights this method should work pretty much for any dodge ram and even the half ton pickups as well this the process is going to be the same pretty much the same interior and everything between the two trucks i know a lot of people want to put cab lights on their half tons so maybe this video will help you out other than that guys we're going to start digging in all right so the very first thing we're going to start on is getting the visors off both sides there is three torx screws that holds on each one you're going to need a t20 torx to remove these three screws on each visor so we're going to get these out real quick and then we'll move forward all right for the next step we're going to be removing the driver side and passenger side pillar which is where the grab handles are you'll see two caps I already got this one popped out you'll need a flat tip screwdriver to pop the cap out and then behind that cap is a 10 millimeter screw uh, so you'll need a socket or nut runner of some sort to get in here and remove the 10 millimeter screws on the top and the bottom right here that's the same for driver and passenger side so we're going to get these removed real quick and continue on now the next thing you're going to need to do where your headliners pop in right here on the headliner or excuse me where your visors snap in to the headliner piece as you can see push this back up to get these released from the headliner so the headliner can come all the way down you'll need to pop these down just be very careful you can use a little screwdriver and just kind of work it around until you get it to move a little bit and just kind of wiggle it around and it will pull down Kind of hard to do with one hand here there we go just be careful because they do break fairly easily so you don't want to yank on it and pry on it too hard but it will pull down just like this which will release the headliner and you'll need to do that to both sides as well so I'm going to get the other side done real quick and then we'll continue on and we'll probably be messing with this guy here next. Alright guys, so the next step is going to be to remove the overhead nav or console or whatever you want to call it. And there's torque screws underneath the lenses. So you have to pop out the lenses with a flathead screwdriver. Just go on the side of each lens and gently very gently pry it out and as you can see all that's holding it in, holding it in on each side is those little locks right here so if you pry too hard or you pry at the wrong angle you will break them off and you'll need to get a new lens so you can see the little nipples right here where they lock in just like this so you're going to pry it out with a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. You'll pry it down like that on each side and then the lens will pull out. So just gently do that and you'll be good to go. I'm going to get the other one out and then you'll see the little screw is right here under each cover. So that's the next step. Alright, now that we got the nav console out the overhead console there is two 
Phillips head screws, one right here, and there was one right there, I already removed it. You will need to take those out as well because this, this is still se secured to the top of the truck or the tr top of the cab, which is still holding the headliner in from coming all the way down in the front. So I'm gonna remove this screw here and we should be pretty much good for the top of the headliner to drop down. All right guys, so we have everything kind of hanging down here. And as you can tell, we can get under the headliner by pulling it down a little bit. And it's kind of hard to see, it's a little dark, but anywho, you can see up in there and we will be able to run our wiring fairly simple. We're gonna be drilling our holes up here. I'm gonna plan out where I wanna put my lights. We'll drill the holes and then we will run the wiring from the passenger side all the way across to the driver's side under the headliner and then we'll come down this little pocket here where the pillar goes with the actual wiring down here and then we'll come down here behind our dash and we will tap into our headlight switch so that when we turn on the marker lights the cab lights will be coming on as well so it'll work pretty much factory like it's supposed to so that's the plan I'm gonna start laying out the lights up top and getting the holes drilled all right guys we kind of jumped ahead we're up here on top of the truck and I have pretty much all of my lights mounted except for one and I wanted to show you basically what you're having to do here you gotta drill three holes the two little out the two little holes on the outside here one here and one up there is what holds the actual light down to the top of the cab as you can see with the gasket here and then you got to drill a little bit bigger hole right in the middle of them two so your wiring can come up through the cab and go into the light so that's basically what you got to do to all five of them and I did not really want to measure out and show exactly how I did my lights as some may mount them differently there's no specific uh, way to have to do this I ended up doing mine with three in the middle uh, spaced out a little bit and then I did one on each outside a little further apart um, so I have three in the middle fairly close and then one on each opposite end spread out just a little farther apart as you can see with that side is completely done over there but that's pretty much it what we're about to do right here is lay some silicone down hook my wiring connectors up and mount the light to the top of the cab and then we'll just be going on to the wiring on the inside so here we go all right guys so we have all of our wires ran from our cab lights under the headliner here and what I did is I ran separate positive and ground wire to each cab light and then connected it to one power wire heat shrinked it I still got to do the ground yet running into a fuse down to where the pillar is going to go <clears throat> and then we have it tapped into the headlight switch right here I'm just using a little pinch connector as you can see and it is a second wire second orange brown wire over is the wire we used which gives me power only when the headlight switch is turned to the parking lights or the headlights but when it is off there's no power on that wire so when we turn on the parking lights or the headlights the overhead cab lights will turn on just like I want them to so we're gonna finish wiring it up real quick but that's pretty much how I did it with this particular truck 
All right, guys, got them completely finished up. They look pretty good. Definitely a pretty good little project. Took a few hours to do it, if not a little bit longer. But as you can see, I'm gonna turn off my headlights or the parking lights and they are off. If I turn just the parking lights on, they are on. So there you go it. There you go guys. Got the Amazon lights on. They look pretty good. They fit pretty good. It took about three or four hours to get these things installed. Definitely not the easiest thing to do with all the drilling and the wiring, but it can be done. But just know you're going to have to drill holes, you're going to have to wire, and if you're willing to do that, they do fit and they look pretty good on the truck, that's for sure. So other than that, hope the video helps you guys out. As always, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one.